Welcome to the One Record, One Step Closer to Digital Cargo with Ontologies and Link Data paper presentation. I am Andra Blaj, developer for One Record, and today I'm going to uh, represent the digital cargo team from IATA, the International Air Transport Association. So let's build a bit of a context in order to understand why uh, we are doing One Record. The main uh, value of the air cargo is enabling global trade. Uh, while it represents uh, only 1% of the global trade by volume, uh, the air cargo represents 35% of the global trade by value. So proportionally, it's huge. Um, this translates into uh, around 6 trillions um, of US dollars of worth of goods. So if we take a look at uh, how 24 hours look like in air cargo, um, this is like 80,000 flowers transported, 20 million parcels sent, 1.1 uh, million smartphones uh, transported, almost 7,000 lives saved, and around 19 billion of dollars in value of cargo shipped. Air cargo makes it happen, uh, especially in, uh, in the crisis that we are currently living. Uh, the air cargo has a crucial role in enabling the, um, the global trade. Um, also, uh, every year, uh, vaccines prevent up to 3 million deaths. Um, the air cargo transports pharmaceuticals, um, medical, um, uh, medical electronics in a safe, secure, and temperature-controlled environment. Uh, also, planes carry planes, for example. Um, uh, so air cargo transports, planes, and individual components of them. Also, over 2 million pets and other live animals are transported uh, by um, air cargo every year. And of course, uh, air cargo transports um, valuable goods such as diamonds also. But now, uh, let's kind of uh, take a look at what this means, especially for the um, immunization. Uh, which uh, it's a very important topic uh, nowadays. So currently the vaccine save 3 million lives every year and almost uh, 60,000 tons of humanitarian aid are delivered by air every year. So this is very, very important. In the same time, let's take a look at the digital state of the industry. Each year, more than uh, 7,800 tons of paper of documents are processed. Uh, this is the equivalent of 80 uh, Boeing 747 freighters filled with paper. That is a crazy amount of paper for 2020. It's not only the goods that uh, are uh, transported by uh, air cargo, but also a huge amount of, of documents. Air cargo is based on legacy peer-to-peer -peer messaging model, meaning that every uh, stakeholders from the supply chain sends the information uh, to the next partner in the supply chain. This can be really bad for two reasons. If one of the stakeholders fails in sending information, that creates a bottleneck. And also, if there is a mistake in uh, at some point uh, in the supply chain, then this is propagating throughout the, uh, the chain. In the context of our current crisis, the digitalization of documents is a biosecurity necessity. Uh, we don't want to touch paper and also we want touchless uh, cargo. Uh, so the digitalization is more important than ever. Also, remote processing and teleworking is a new normal. For example, a good example is this uh, event where everyone is at their home or uh, um, work from home stations and are watching these videos. Uh, so let's capitalize on internet technologies. Internet is already a few decades old, but um, it's, uh, there are some internet technologies that are at the basis of one record, as we are going to see a bit further. So uh, our beliefs are cooperation and adoption of international standards are the building blocks that will facilitate data visibility for intermodal transportation, communication, and interoperability between the stakeholders' platforms. So we need a joint actions for all the supply chain stakeholders to invest in the IT capabilities for uh, enabling digitalization. Also, uh, this digital chain needs to be activated urgently as we are living a current uh, a crisis and we need to move as fast as possible. And also we need to make it simple so we, so we can increase the, um, the speed of the adoption. So what, uh, let's go through the one record concept. 
Uh, the vision of one record is an end-to-end -end digital logistics and transport supply chain, meaning that we need to pass from a peer-to-peer -peer messaging uh, system to um, data sharing through a vir virtual shipment record. Um, all that in a common language that is defined in an RDF uh, ontology. Um, so all the stakeholders need to uh, need to connect into what we call the Internet of Logistics, which enables semantic and technical interoperability. Semantic meaning that everyone understands the data that the other one is sharing. And then the technical means that the, um, they are using technologies and security uh, platforms that are also uh, known by the others. So the pillars of one record um, are, um, are three. Uh, first one of one is uh, data, which uh, kind of um, shows how, you know, what um, what it is shared. And then there's the API, uh, which defines how do we uh, share uh, the data, and also then the security, which also um, shows what uh, with whom we share the data. Another layer of on record is the governance, which enables the roles and permissions uh, in this uh, ecosystem. And all, uh, all these layers together, they kind of enable the virtual shipment record. So in a nutshell, um, as a pain point of uh, the current air cargo industry is the document-centric model, we want to uh, switch to a data-centric model, which would provide better visibility, transparency, improve the data quality, and also eliminate the duplicates. So how do we do that um, technically? Uh, we have uh, organized a group of business and domain experts from IATA and then from the industry, for example, shippers, airlines, customs, etc. Together, they define what we call the data model, which is a digital twin from the existing physical cargo. All these uh, data model specifications are put together in documents um, that can, can be found on GitHub. It's open source and free to access. Uh, those are the design principles, the conceptual, logical data model, and the existing use cases. Then we have a group of technical experts from throughout the industry that work together and then create uh, the physical ontology starting from these documents. Uh, they use um, a tool called Protégé and they generate a file uh, in turtle format. Of starting from this turtle format, we uh, are using a tool called Viroco that generates a documentation which is available on our One Record Developer portal. Uh, then the next step uh, into this uh, process is the mapping of the ontology to actual models from the programming uh, languages. Uh, for that, we are suggesting the usage of object triple mapping uh, libraries. Um, that some of them exist already for some programming languages, but also they can be implemented by each of the uh, partners. Uh, starting from that, then one record solvers can consume these data, the, these models into their, uh, in their into their applications, and they communicate uh, to other one record servers from the um, from uh, from the ecosystem. Um, through um, standard APIs that produce and consume JSON-LD format. Um, some features of these APIs include Publisher Subscribe, uh, Memento Protocol, Web Access Control, and Delegation. These are uh, paradigms that we have explored in our API specifications. Uh, the security um, is defined by Neutral TLS and OAuth2. Uh, this can be enabled through um, by using uh, entities such as certificate authorities and identity and authentication providers. Uh, in the backends of these systems, we can find, of course, databases, RDF stores, and uh, converters to uh, existing legacy cargo system. Um, what's the main imp uh, part of this? schema is the, what we call the Internet of Logistics. is basically the existing one record servers. Uh, together with the security provider and interfaces. Currently, there are more than 40 companies involved in one record. Some of them are live with their products. Some of them will be soon live. And this number is increasing uh, constantly. Uh, we are also involved in a consortium called Federated, which is uh, co-financed by the uh, European Union. Um, it, it, uh, aims at creating a federated network of platforms that would enable data sharing for multimodal transport. 
So this is it. Thank you for your attention.